Praise the Lord, everyone. Welcome to Living Testimony, a show dedicated to the body of Christ, where I am your host, Sister Maxine Baez. I'm from Upon This Rock Ministry. Praise God. Before I get started, I would like to give honors to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the head of my life. Amen. I also like to thank my pastor, my husband, Pastor Clarence Baez, and all those from Upon This Rock Ministry. I also like to give thanks to my bishop, Bishop Norris Porter, and to all those that is tuning in. God bless you all. I pray that you enjoy this show on today. Again, you are tuning in to a living testimony. Amen. Thank you, my sister, for oh, um, allowing yeah. me to come on your show and okay. just share the goodness of God with your audience. Um, one thing that I, I, I'm always excited about is that we can always give people what God has given us. Yes. And, um, you know, one thing about our testimonies, the enemy will always try to keep you ashamed of your past. He'll try to keep you, you know, ashamed to just really, you know, be transparent but, you yeah. know, transparency and, and I've learned, um, you know, even in God delivering me that it was not specifically for me, yes. but it was actually for the purpose of going to help save somebody else. Yes. That's the exact same thing. So yeah. there's nothing to be ashamed of when you know the love of God, when you've been even as a babe in Christ, yeah. you know, we still don't understand fully God's mercy. We don't understand his grace. We don't understand his love. We've searched all over, like the song yes. says. Gone through so much. And let yes. me just say, yes. and the whole journey never knew our true purpose. Yes. Never knew why we were even created. Yes. Once you understand that, you can finally start living. Yes, and Lord. You, can, you can finally begin to, when Jesus said, he said, I came so that they may have Ooh. life. Jesus. And have life more abundantly. Yes, See, we Lord. we have to die to experience some type of joy, some type of peace, some type of. We thought we had to die and get to heaven. Jesus said, "No, I come Jesus. to. I died so that you can live. Come on, right now. Yes. So we got to get people to 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 come on, get past the cross. Come on, somebody. Yes. Everything was done at the cross. Jesus yes. said, "No, hanging on at the cross. That's why you still bound. That's why you yes. can't." Experience my freedom. That's why you don't feel my peace. He yes. said, come past the cross and enter into my rest. Ooh, come on, somebody. Yes. So yes, if Lord. we encourage, oh my goodness. Oh, like hallelujah. I have is is this mouth. The world did not give this to me. Yes. Let me tell you something. I don't yes. owe the world nothing. The world yes. don't owe me nothing. <laughs> the okay. Bible says we are not of this world. I live my life like I am not of this world. <laughs> when you realize that you're not of this world, when you realize you are a child of God, when you mm. realize that you serve a God that is so bigger and so greater than any situation that come your way, when you realize that you serve a God that is a lawyer, that is a doctor, that is a surgeon, that is all that you need, that is a friend, that is a husband, that is a wife, that is a, 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 a parent. When you realize who you are in Christ, no matter what you're going through, you're in your household with your children, on your jobs, whatever it is, when you realize who you are in Christ, when you realize when he said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. When you realize when he said that I will always be there with you. I will, I, I, he said, vengeance is his. You know, we don't have to worry about what someone say about us or do to us or whatever, because mm -hmm. we're one of his. When he tells us to just hold still, just hold still. Yeah, you're going through it, but just humble yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, my bishop taught us, he said, you got, you're going to have the prep, you're going to have the test, you're going to have the press, and then the blessing. Come you on. know, but sometimes it's not about the blessing, it's just knowing that I know if no one else loves me. Come on. He does. Knowing that if no one else cares about how I feel, he does. We serve a God that loves us so much that he gave his only, only begotten son for us. For the for the for the listeners, because I think what has happened in regards to the churches, I, we have not been teaching. You know, Jesus said that the world is going to end when this gospel is preached. So that means yes. there's many other gospels. There's other doctrines out there. And yes. so what has happened is because we have introduced people to bad doctrine, we've we've we made uh you know the church to be what we want it to be. Yes, it's God's kingdom. 
And so yeah. that's due to lack of knowledge. And so when the, the world, what the world is searching for is what the kingdom has for the world. Yeah. Oh, if we can introduce the world to the kingdom of God, they yes. will come in. Ooh, come on, somebody. Jesus. But we're Hallelujah. trying to introduce the world to our, what we want, how yes. we think something should be. No, God said, my kingdom is about love. The world yes. needs love. My kingdom is about peace. The world needs oh, peace. Hallelujah. My kingdom yes. is about uh, the, the, the ability to forgive each other. Why? Because if you harbor unforgiveness, you'll get stricken with disease. You'll get high blood pressure. Nothing about God's laws were ever meant to burden us. But yes. we, the enemy used it, of course, and yes. he made it and twisted it so it would feel like Ooh, we weren't geez. able to do God's law. Yes. yes. And, but in actuality, God's law is perfect. God's right. law is everything that we need in order to number one, survive and survive in peace. Come on, yes, somebody. Girl. Hallelujah, Jesus. <laughs> All of this. Trying yes. to be religious and ritual and thinking holiness has to do with an outer and not yes. understanding that holiness has to do with being set apart. Yes, set apart girl. from what? Set yes, apart girl. from the world's the world system, the way the world thinks. The world say hate your neighbor if yes. they hate you. The world say don't forgive somebody who do something yes. bad. The world say all of that. Oh, but God, oh, yeah. God, say, God can say bless your enemy. Yes, Lord. And do oh, not hallelujah. Hurt him. Yes. The kids of God say forgive. Why does God say that? Number one, because we got to understand that none of us are above God and none he's going to, to forgive us. Come on, somebody. Yes, and Lord. not only that, we all have been guilty of doing something to somebody that we yes. needed somebody else's forgiveness. Come Amen. on, somebody. So yes. at the end of the day, there's no way to live in harmony if everybody's harboring unforgiveness. Yes. I think God is smart enough to know what he's talking about. I, doing God God's word is simply going around the unbeliever. Come on, going to your yes, workplace, Lord. going to the yes. school, going to your career and doing love. You yes, being the oh, come on, you being the yes, come on, the night. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord. See the glory. Come on. Yes, we need Lord. to see the glory when you walk in the place. Heaven's supposed to walk in a place. Yes, Lord. And somebody standing by need to say, it's something different about that person. They got yes. something I want. Come on. Yes, Let's look Lord. at you, woman of God. And they say, why are you smiling? You say, because I don't belong yes. to this world. I belong to it. Come on. Good. When you come to person, he said, allow the light that shine on you. Shine on others. Let them see the light through you. Ooh. Let them see God through you. Those, mm -hmm. Us as believers, we're supposed to allow people to see the Lord through us. Mm -hmm. When we mm -hmm. open up our mouth, they should be able to hear the Lord speak. No matter mm -hmm. what they're going through, they should be able to, mm -hmm. to want to drop down to their knees and cry out. Our job is to help them get to where they need to be. Mm -hmm. We already know who Christ is. My I God. cry sometimes because I look at people and I'm like, I know it's hard because it was hard for me. But I thank God I stood up and I stood there. Because I knew this is what I want. My this God. is what I need. You know, I was seeking and I was going. And I'm not bashing other churches, but I was going here and there and everywhere else. I didn't understand what was going on until the Lord sent me to a place where I was able to receive. And once I received him, I'm like, next thing I know, not only did I receive him, I received the word. I received the deliverance. I received the healing. I received the spirit of God. And I thank God for that. And now I want to help others that are out there. You got people that want that you got the backsliders. They want to come back. They're looking in, but they're like, I don't even want to deal with the mess that's going on. It's mm -hmm. our job not for them not to see a mess. It's mm -hmm. our job is to bring them back in no matter what they've been through. Come on, come back. You know, those that are lost that want Christ. They want to know who the Lord is, but then they're watching us. They're watching others. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, I don't want to go through that because it's a lot of, there's still a lot of the world in the house of the Lord. But people that are watching, don't allow anyone else stop you from receiving Christ. Because the first thing we always say, we say it in ministry, you tell a person by their fruit. 
You tell yeah. a person by who they are. You yeah. know a person when they 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 have kindness coming out of them. They don't push you away. They're not angry. They're not frustrated. They're not. You will know a person. You will know a true man, a woman, a God because the spirit inside of them will show you. And also, it's important. Don't let someone else stop you from getting to know who your creator is. Getting My to know who gave their life for you. Because when yes. you receive him, is when you receive him, your walk is your walk. I can't talk for you. Can no one else talk for you? You have to walk for yourself. But it's when you get to know Christ, when you get to know the Lord and allow the Lord to fill you with his spirit, it is a true blessing knowing that you serve a God that is a forgiving God, especially when you make a mistake and you can repent knowing i love the word repent i love the fact that he gave us not saying it's a ticket for me to sin but just knowing that he loves god loves you even more when you can realize you make a mistake you made a mistake and say lord it's me lord i pray and ask you to forgive me lord i pray and ask you to deliver me lord whatever i have done wrong if it's not of you if anything is around me that is not of you take it away you know, it's a blessing knowing that you serve a God, just the blink of an eye that he can change every situation. You mentioned repentance. I love that. That's a gift, by the way. Yes, um, don't, be, don't be afraid of the word repent. Let me tell yes. you, you mentioned you mentioned how, who God created us. And this yes. is what this is where we got what we have to realize and understand that. People, the world can't understand why it's so wicked, why, yeah. you know, there are children dying, why there's murders, why they're, you know, we're going through all these things. And so we have to let people know that God did not create that. Come yes. on, somebody. Yes. He, he didn't, he, we, we, he, redemption, people have to understand what redemption means, yes. what salvation means. Yes. When you oh, can back, God created us human beings, mankind, yes. men and women alike in the image and likeness of oh, him. Hallelujah, he Jesus. spoke to the seed of mankind. Yes. So before you and I got here, before our children, our, our children's children, yes. he spoke to the, the seed and he spoke to it and said, okay, you are created in my image and my likeness, yes, which Lord. means you will carry my nature in the earth realm. Oh, that means hallelujah. that I'm creating you, hallelujah, to produce fruit, to, yes. to produce good fruit. You yes. will be able to take dominion and rulership over the earth. So yes. I'm, 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 I'm giving you this gift to manage the earth just like heaven. Come on, oh, somebody. Hallelujah. If heaven is invisible and earth, glory to God, is natural. He created us to manage a natural, a natural realm. Yes, so, Lord. of course, we know the story. We yes. were created initially like with a clean mind. Yes. With a fresh mind, yes. with an uncorrupted mind. Come yes. on. Th Hallelujah. That's it. That's what yes. God created. So when yes. Adam and Eve were formed, they didn't have a corrupted mind. They had no. a fresh mind. So they were they 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 did everything God spoke into their nature to do. Glory yes. to God. But of course, when sin entered the world, it separated all of us from God. Yes. So the reason why we feel we 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 go through life lost and trying to look for love in all the wrong places. Yes. We, we, we we make all the wrong decisions. There's a power leading us, and, yes. and it's the power of the enemy because yes. we're all born what in sin, shape, and iniquity. Yes. And then yes. so God Amen. is redeeming us and bringing us back to the original place he created us in. So oh, that has God. to do with our mind. So when we, the people's problem is not, is not people, it's your mind. My yes, mind. Yes. When you can yes, go Lord. after a person's mind, everybody oh, is after a person's mind. Why? Because your mind controls your actions. Yes. So if the enemy can, can, he can't take your salvation. Let no. me tell you, the devil don't care about y'all being saved. Yes. He don't care about you going up in these buildings every week, shouting, falling out, slapping oil on each other. Yeah, he <laughs> yes, all for all of it. 
He don't care about none of that. But the moment you come out that building with the yes. kingdom knowledge, come on, somebody, yes. and you your life to your job, and yes. you stand yes. on the word of God at your job, and you tear oh, down. Hallelujah. The yes. Come on. When you can yes. go in the government, and, and you can be the one that say, no, you're not going to change God's divine law. He yes. says, stand against the wiles of the enemy. Not yes. stay cooped up in your church every week. Come out of there and go and stand against the wiles of the enemy. So as the body of Christ, we got to get yes. our minds renewed. That's yes. why we're no longer who we used to be. Because yes. once you accept Christ, yes. and I'm going to tell anybody that's listening, that's watching on here. Glory to God. Yes. Coming into this kingdom is coming, in, coming into a place of right now peace. Yes. A place of right now joy. Yes. You need peace. You need joy and you need some unconditional love right now. You yes. cannot make it in this life without those things. There's yes. a void in the heart of every human being that only God can fill. Thank you, Jesus. Money can't fill it. Yes, Lord. Drugs can't fill it. Alcohol yes, can't fill it. Sleeping around can't fill it. Getting involved in the same sex can't fill it. Yes, There's Lord. only the place that God can feel. Only God. That's why you. that our soul cries out. Come on, yes, somebody. Lord. Hallelujah. Deep down in everybody. I yes, don't care Lord. how much of a thug you are. You could be the thuggers of all thuggers. Come on. You yes, could be the Lord. riches of all rich. Oh, but hallelujah. the glory of God is yes. the spirit of God coming to your hearts. Yes, you're going to forever be lost. You yes. will never be satisfied. Come on. So we got to get that out to the people. We've got something for you yes, that you Lord. need. And it's the kingdom of God. Oh, I'm not trying to sell you no religion. Yes, I'm not trying to sell you no denomination. Yes, I'm not trying to sell you my church building. Baby, come into this yes, kingdom. Lord. Come on, somebody. Come on. God yes, loves Lord. you. He oh, wants to redeem you and take your old mind away yes, from you. Lord. Everything Lord. that's got you running, you're about to lose it. But God say, I want to give you a new yes, one today. Lord. Come on, somebody. Yes, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I'm left up to my old mind anymore. I thank yes. God because my old mind was so corrupted. Come on, somebody. Yes, my Lord. old mind was full of torment. I had demons. Hallelujah. After my mind, I yes. couldn't sleep at night. My mind was playing all kind of tricks on me. I was doing things I didn't want to do. Glory to God. But yes, God, Lord. he said, take off your old mind. Yes, Change Lord. the way you think it. And I give you the power with yes. a new mind. I give you a new level. I yes, give you Lord. another principle to live by. Come yes. on, somebody. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Ooh, thank hallelujah. you, Father. Thank my you, God. Lord. For that's the new my God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The new mind. Yes, Lord. And, and, and those that's watching, everything that my sister is saying, that's my God right there. What he can, he will deliver you. He will set you free. He will mm -hmm. be, listen, the thoughts that go through your mind that tells you, no, you ain't got to go to church in the morning. No, you ain't got to get up and pray. No, you ain't got to fast. No, you ain't got to meditate. No, you ain't got to study the word. That's not of the Lord. The Lord wants you to get up. He wants you to pray. He wants you to study. He wants you to meditate. He wants you to to, to gather up with other, um, come together with other saints and give him glory, give him praises. And so don't complain about the things that's going on in the world. Don't be complaining about the things that you couldn't do, should do, or had to do. If it's not of God, leave it alone. If it's not, if she's not of God, leave her alone. If she's, he's not of God, leave him alone. If they don't want the Lord, leave him alone. You pick up your cross, you follow the God that's going, that's going to set you free, that's going to deliver you, that's going to heal you, that's going to build you up. Up, to be the man or woman of God that he created you to be. God is looking for men and women that are not afraid to go out and speak the truth. That's going. That's not afraid to go out and let his people know that they that he will forgive them for their sins. That he will for, that he will deliver them. That he will heal them. All they have to do is just come to him, call on him, put him first. God wants to be first in our lives. He wants to be first. He wants to be before our husbands, our wives, our children, our our grandchildren, our jobs the money in our pockets he wants to be first before before every any situation that come our way when you put god first he'll put you first 
When you allow God to be the author of your life, he will bring you through situations that you will never see before. He will open up doors in your life that no man can shut. He will close doors in your life that no man can open. He will make a way. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He said, I, I mean, when you put God first is when you put God first. That's all the Lord wants. When we can put him first, when we can come together, put our differences aside. If, as a believer, we shouldn't have no bitterness in our hearts towards no man. We should love everyone that come our way. He said to pray for your enemies. If we can come together and pray for our enemies, then we know who we are in Christ. We need to pray for those that are in the wrong positions. We need to pray for those that's in the right position. We need to get on our knees and pray for our president. The Lord said we're supposed to pray for those that's in leadership, not talk about them, not bash them. We, only God can change the situation that we go through. Man can't change it so whatever it is that we're going through in this world only god can change it and the only way he's going to change it is when we move when we call on him when we can get on our knees ain't no one great enough to where they can't get on their knees ain't no one great enough to where they can't lay on their belly and call out to the lord is when you serve a god that sits in it that sits up so high and looks down so low no matter who you are i don't care what positions you in you can be a bishop you can be a pastor you can be an apostle you can be an evangelist you could be a prophet no matter who you are none of us is none of us is perfect we all make mistakes is when you can recognize who christ is in you when you can recognize that you are a true man or woman of god then you can sit back and say hallelujah but until then until then jesus christ said listen whoever throws the first stone we have to wake up. We have to examine ourselves. We have to know who we are in Christ. We have to do the work of the Lord. Times is coming. Times, every time we look, something else is happening. We have to be ready. We have to be ready. We have to prepare those that are out there that are lost. We have to get them ready to what's to come. Right now, it might look like it's going to get better. To those in the world, it's going to look like it's going to get better. But those that know Christ know that this is just the beginning. And we have to be ready. We have to be ready. We Amen. have to make sure our family is ready. We got to make sure our friends is ready. And if they don't want it, we don't force them. We don't force them. But we have to present the Lord to those that is around us. We have to speak the truth. We have to let people know who Christ is and why he's here and how the enemy attacks our mind to stop us from knowing who we are to Christ, knowing what he has done for us. Knowing that God is our father, which art in heaven. And he looks down. You know, he would, I don't care what you have done wrong in your life. All you have to do is just call on Christ. Just call on the Lord. I don't care what you have been through. If you're tired of being attacked in the mind, if you, you can't get a, a, a peaceful rest at night, you're having problems in your household. You're having problems on your job. You can't pay your bills. You can't do, call on the Lord. Call on the Lord. And then you got to believe it. You got to believe it. You got to believe it because it's, 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 it's easy. It, exactly. It's easy to call on him. But if you don't believe that he's going to do it, then why should he do it? Because you don't believe him. And right. but you got to believe in him. You got to believe that he is there. You know, Lord, I just want to give a quick testimony. You know, I, I was, when I was in the world, I used to get on my knees and I used to pray, but then I'll go back into the world and do whatever I wanted to do or whatever. And I've been, you know, my kids had lost their father. I also lost my, my, my other, I, my other kid's father. They both have passed away. I'm raising six children by myself. And I've been, I went all the stuff that I have been through. I don't, you know, I don't know have time to go through all that. But when I gave my life to Christ and I got on, I went to a Wednesday night prayer service and I got on my knees, everybody's screaming and shouting to the Lord. And I got on my knees and the Lord gave me a flashback of everything that I had been through. The times that I cried, being in an abusive relationship, everything that I had went through, the Lord gave me a flashback. He said that, and what he had said to me is that he was there, but I just didn't call on him. He was waiting on me to call on him. He was waiting on me to build my relationship with him, but I didn't do that. But I'm doing that now. I Absolutely. have to now. I'm so grateful to say that I serve a wonderful God. I'm so Absolutely. grateful to say that I 
Listen, I love the Lord so much and I'm thankful for all that he has done for me. I'm thankful for where he has brought me from. I, I'm thankful for all those that he has brought into my life. I'm thankful that I'm able to be on this show right now and all those that is tuning in. I'm thankful for all of you that are watching, but we have to get it right with God. If you want to stop these attacks and have a peaceful rest, you have to seek the Lord. You have to let go of the things that happened in your past. You have to ask God to forgive you for your sins. You have to forgive yourself. You got to forgive others that has hurt you, things that had happened in your childhood, all the way to who you are today. Pick up your cross and follow Christ. Get to know your Savior before it's too late. Get to know your Savior. Make sure you're filled with the Holy Spirit. A lot of people don't understand, but they don't even know that you, the Lord showed me a long time ago, you got good, you got nice people. There's no one good besides the Lord, besides our God. But you got nice people that are sitting in church that pay their tithes and offering all the time. Go to church faithfully, but do not know that they need to be filled with the Holy Spirit that's been in church for years and is not filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is your ticket into heaven. When Jesus, when the Lord comes back, he's coming back for his and his have this, has his spirit in them. So it's important to make sure you have the spirit of God inside of you. And in order for the spirit of God to dwell in you, you have to have a clean temple. So you gotta let things go. You gotta let it go. You know, and this is your walk. Work out your own soul salvation. That's what the scriptures say. This is your walk, praise God. Since, I, you know, it's so much that we can share with those that are watching. And it's important sometimes, you know, like I said earlier, I cry because I'm like, there's so much that I wish I can do for the people. But it's only but so much that you can give them. You can't force them to come to Christ. You can't force them to change their ways. You can't force them. If you, if a person really truly love God, they're gonna live the way that He wants. It. They're gonna be obedient to the Word, you know. And right. it's scary to see, because even the Bible said even the elect is gonna fall away. You got a lot of people that are falling away from God. You got a lot of people that is like you said. They're teaching different doctrine. The Scripture tells us to stay on the Word. You can't add to the word. You can't take from the word. You have to stay on the word. No, you can't live like that. No, you can't do those things. You know, the scripture did warn us and said, there's going to be a time where good is going to be evil and evil is going to be good. And these are the times that we're living. Right. And so that's why we can't, we can't focus on that because yeah. even Jesus said when he, when he preached to the multitudes, he always said, let them who have an ear to hear, let them hear. Yeah. So even when he was here doing his ministry, they didn't believe him and he was doing miracles yeah. right in front of them. Yeah. So, you know, it's already been prophesied, you know, that many are not going to believe um, that, you know, and that their destiny is already, you know, what it is. And yeah. so we, we have to uh, God, to, God gave us specific instruction on how he wants us to present the gospel. Yes. And however, you know, he, he gave some pastors, gave some evangelists, gave some. Pro Everybody's not meant to be a pastor. Everybody's not yeah. meant to be an evangelist. Everybody's not meant to be a prophet yeah. and so on. But everybody's meant to minister. Yes. So what I mean by minister is this. The way we introduce Christ to people. Yes. Is the way you live your life around them. Yes. If we can understand that and understand that people desire Something that somebody always has something somebody wants. Yes. Okay. Whether it's good, whether it's bad, whatever. That's just the way it is with, when yes. it comes to human beings. Yes. Somebody always has something somebody wants. So what type of influence are you when you get around other people? Yes. Influence is power. Yes. So there's only two influences in the world. The yes. influence of Christ and the influence of, of the enemy. Yes. We got to get in our lane. First yes. of all, know what that is and stay in our lane. Oh, if Jesus. we can do that, my God, come on, somebody. Oh, if we can stay in our lane and number oh. one, stop trying to do God's job. Christ, 
The first time Christ came, he did not come to condemn the world. Yes. So we don't have no business condemning anybody. Yes. He comes to save souls that are sick. Yes. He come to save. He looked upon the multitude and he had compassion yes. because he said they are lost without a shepherd. Jesus, hallelujah. And when he ascended back to heaven, we are to complete his work. Yes. So whatever he did, that's the work that we should be completing yes. until he comes back. Amen. So we have to understand the ministry of Christ. Come Lord. on, somebody. Hallelujah. And first of all, we can't begin to preach him unless he's first of all in our hearts Ooh, and allowing him to live through us. Yes, that's preaching in itself. That's yes. preaching without you saying one scripture to somebody. Come yes. on, somebody. You, you're ministering when you go around this is how it goes in the spiritual realm. I'm going to get a little deep. Glory to God. I'm going to get a little deep. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. What you got to understand is this is a spiritual yes. fight. This has nothing to do with our flesh, our yes. outer shell. As far, the, everything starts in the spirit realm. Glory. So when it comes to us and the way we live our lives, there are spirits that are connected to us. There's yes. powers of influence that's controlling every human being. Whether you believe it or not, there's yes. a spirit controlling what you say, controlling Jesus. what you do. Okay? Yes. So a a as a prophetess, you know, God has given me the ability to see certain things. So I try to explain certain things in hopes that somebody, because it really will set you free. Yes. When you realize that you can tap in the spirit realm, my God, Jesus. hallelujah. When you tap in the spirit realm, you could begin to cast things down. Yes. You could begin to see the tricks of the enemy yes. and what he's trying to do in the natural realm. Come oh, on. hallelujah. So yes. when God say, you see, when we think about love, when we think about peace, when we think about forgiveness, when we think those are principles of God. God spoke these things in existence. Yes. So yes. these things have power attached yes. to it. Yes. We watered down love. The world wants to, what, just because the world dysfunctionalized what love is, just yes. because the world took certain things and, 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 and made it and watered it down. Let me tell you something. The yes. world did not change God's divine laws. No, he can't. Whatever he spoke, it's going to do whatever yes. God yes. said it's supposed to do. So when God say, go and do love, when he say, go love your enemy, glory, hallelujah, go love your neighbor, Yes. You're not doing that just because you ain't got nothing else to do. There's a spiritual thing going on right there. Yes. There's a kingdom thing happening yes, between Lord. you Hallelujah. and that, that you are unaware of. That's Lord. why it's important that we stay in the will of God and yes. we speak what God speaks because it's bigger than us. It's yes. never about us. Come on, somebody. Yes. Who Hallelujah. cares if somebody don't like you? Yes. So what? They didn't all like Jesus. Come on, somebody. Yes. Who can they talk about you? He said, blessed are you when they revile your name for my oh, name. Hey, we got to, you got to get out your feelings and you attack that by doing what God say do because love covers a multitude of sin. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Love cast out yes, people. Oh, so yes. Understand that. Yes. You go live your life. Some of you are going to go back to work. Hallelujah. Whenever yes. you go back to your jobs or whoever, you're going to be, a, you're going to look at it a whole nother way. Yes. You don't look at people as people in their flesh. You look at them as it's a spirit leading yes. them. And I got yes. to deal with that. So how do I deal with an evil, wicked spirit? By doing what God say do. Ooh, you got to love that person. Come yes, on. Lord. Hallelujah. Come yes. against love. The enemy can't come against you being the yes. peacemaker. Come on, somebody. Yes, you got to do the will of God. Yes. Jesus said only those who do the will of my father. So yes. we got to learn what the will of the father is. Yes. Whatever we thought it was, won it. Come on. Because if it was it, we'll see, more, yes. we'll see more fruit of the Holy Spirit throughout this land. So evidently, there's something missing somewhere along the way. Come on, somebody. Yes. We missed it somewhere. Because I don't see enough light out here. Come on, somebody. Yes, I don't see Lord. enough fruit of the Spirit out here. Come on. Yes. So we can go Lord. back. And start all over again. Somebody yes, say, Lord, Lord, start me over. Come on. 
Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> I got to raise my hand because yes. I, I said things out of context. Yes. I, I just repeated things that I heard other people say because it sounded good, not having no spiritual understanding. And God had to sit me down yes. and he had to tell me, hallelujah. I'm going to share something with my oldest son. My 14 year old told me at 13, he didn't believe in God anymore. Mm, Jesus. And when that, when my son told me that, it looked like somebody just took a gun and shot him in his head. I, it looked like I saw him commit suicide. Wow. I could not believe he said that. Wow. I was so hurt. But Jesus. I'm going to tell you all something. Jesus. I have to understand why would he say that? He was he, he finally came out to me. He said because he didn't he felt like Christianity was like any other religion. Yeah. He saw a bunch of hypocrisy in it. He can understand why, you know, Christians act like this. And it seemed like, you know, they weren't doing anything that, you know, we preach about. In other words, yes. come yes. on, about so he put it in the category with other religions. And so mm. I began to pray and ask God. I said, why would my son say that? I don't understand. God said, because you presented me like a religion when I mm. never told y'all I was a religion. Jesus. He said, you presented me like a denomination. And put yes. me in a box when I'm not in a box. He yes. said, I told you to be the kingdom. I told you to represent the kingdom. So yes, you got Lord. to go back and start all over again. Ooh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Repent all yes, over Lord. again. Do you hear what I'm saying? Glory, I hallelujah. Said, God, I said, I asked the Holy Spirit. Yes, I said, go before anybody that I went in front of and said something out of context. I said, get take the truth to them. Yes, I said, Lord. forgive me, God, for stepping out of my lane and yes. saying things that you didn't tell me to say. So God put me in a deep study. Jesus. Oh, and I said, God, don't let me open my mouth back up yes, and you put a word out of context again. I yes, said, Lord. shut my mouth before I speak your word and it's not what you say. Oh, so Lord. God had to sit me down and discipline me. Yes. And that's when he unlocked the mysteries of Jesus. the kingdom. He oh, put hallelujah. The Holy oh, Spirit. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Yes, Lord. The Holy oh, Spirit Jesus. had to teach me. Yes. God has revealed secrets, hidden yes. secrets to the kingdom oh, to me. Hallelujah. So he put a whole new message in me. Yes, and that's what he do. My that's God. What, that's what my God do. When he says, no, you say, I'm going to teach you. You know, I have people come up to me and be like, oh, I'm going to teach you. I'm going to teach you. And the Lord said, no, you're not. I'm a teacher. And so, so I look at people, I'm like, uh, I can't do it. The well, Holy Spirit said, no, I'm a teacher. Exactly. And, 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 and everything that you're saying, because I think that's why when I was going to all these different places, I couldn't adapt because I'm like, it's something I couldn't receive and stuff. And it's when the Lord showed me who he is. Ooh. It is the Lord. That's why I said when you read, when you really truly see him, because he is he is not a religion. He's not, it's not a religion. Someone asked me, Oh, you're really no, I'm not. I am a believer. Come on. The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Come I am a believer. Them. You know, I serve God. I don't serve man. I don't move unless the Lord tells me to move. I don't speak unless the Lord tells me to speak. I don't touch, I don't do nothing unless the Lord tells me to do it. I'm not trying to show off. I'm not trying to act like I'm better than anyone. I hear him when he talks to me. I know who I am is when you know who you are in Christ and you allow the Lord to use you the way he wants to use you. Not the way man, because he God might be telling you to go, but you sitting there worrying about what man thinks. You know, Lord been showing me what he, I know he showed me plenty of time. He had me speak and let a lot of people know God is calling you from out of there. He said, come from among them because a lot of people are called. God is calling them to do work, but they're afraid of worrying about what their leaders think or what others might say about them. And the Lord is saying, don't worry about them. Don't worry about what anybody I'm with you. Greater is he that is in you, in me, than he that is in the world. So it doesn't That's matter what this person think or matter how that I'm good. I'm going to be obedient to God. I'm going to be obedient to my savior. That's that's all that matters. I'm going to be, if the Lord gives me a word to give to someone, I'm going to give it. If the Lord didn't, I'm not going to squeeze something out and I'm not just going to give somebody something. The yeah. one thing that the Lord keep telling me, you tell them to get it right. 
Those that is in leadership, get it right. Those that are sitting in the ministry, get it right. Like you said, we are all, everyone is called to be who they're supposed to be in Christ. Everyone yeah. is called. Not everybody's meant to be a pastor. Not everybody's meant to be a bishop. Not everybody's meant to be who they say that they are. But every everyone can witness on what the Absolutely. Lord has did. Yes. And everyone can witness. Everyone can sit back and say, oh, the Lord pulled me out of this. The Lord opened up the door for me. Lord, heal me. The Lord, it's okay to do that. But we also got to just know that our job is to help others bring them in. Let's go get them. Let's go get them because he's coming. He's coming. Those that don't want to read the word, that. Listen, it's very important to study the word. It's very important to study the word for yourself. Because if not, you're going to be somebody when that man or woman of God tell you the sky is purple, you're going to get up and go run outside and go look. When Jesus Christ said, I'm coming like a thief in the night, <laughs> you ain't going to be ready because you're looking for a purple sky. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Absolutely. Bye -bye. Be ready. <laughs> we got to be people in, in, in what I love about what God has given me to give people is we want people to get excited about his word. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Come on. He said, those who thirst after righteousness shall be healed. Jesus. So oh, this is the season to understand that it is the word of God that washes us. It's the yes. word of God that purges <laughs> us. It's the word of God that yes. convicts us. It's the word of God that sustains us. Everything we need is in God's word. If right. we can just get Put our body in his word, my God. Come on. Right. You, yeah. you will experience, <laughs> you will experience heaven right Ooh, now. Hallelujah. You, you're not waiting to die to get to heaven and yes. get wings and fly around like angels. Ooh, Let me tell funny. you that right now. Baby, he's gonna bring a new earth back. Come on, yes. somebody. Hallelujah. New Jerusalem. So you might as well get used to earth. Holly, come yes, on, Lord. somebody. Hallelujah. Used to earth, so God is 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 trying to get us now uh, to understand that. Okay, I'm renewing your mind, so when I bring the new Jerusalem down, come oh, on, Lord, Hallelujah. This body, see this physical flesh here, this gonna die, but yeah. our soul ain't gonna die. Come on, somebody, Ooh, so your soul gotta be right. He's trying to get your soul right, yeah. so when your soul is on hold, yes, Lord. <laughs> oh, Hallelujah. Your soul is in heaven <laughs> holding tank. My God, yes, Lord. gonna be there for, for a little while. It ain't gonna be forever. Yes, when Lord. your soul is in heaven in holding tank, yes. now that's only for those who believe. Otherwise, your soul gonna be in hell's holding tank. We yes. don't want nobody's soul to be in hell's holding tank. Yes. Come on. That's the yes. whole purpose of we got to reach these people so yes. they souls can be yes. saved. But yes. Jesus is gonna bring the new Jerusalem. Yes, Lord. then there'll be no more sickness. That's yes. why we can rejoice. Oh, why hallelujah. Why you can, there's the coronavirus and all these things going. Okay, but guess what? I've already been redeemed. Come yes, on, somebody. Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Virus, it's coronavirus. Yes. Don't kill me. I'm going to die someday. Some yes. don't kill me. Come on, somebody. Yes. Oh, but hallelujah. I'm already ready because I believe in my Savior. Come on, somebody. And I know that there's, I got hope oh, the glory which is to come. Come on. Because when yes, I wake Lord. up again, it won't be no more sickness. It won't yes, be no Lord. more such thing as a coronavirus. Yes, it won't Lord. be a such thing as high blood pressure. It yes, won't be Lord. nothing. Come on, somebody. Yes, so Lord. I can rejoice right now. Jesus. In the midst of a calamity. Yes, come on. Because these things yes, have to happen. Yes. But Jesus said, you, he said, you will be persecuted for my name's sake. Yes. So I accept that because I'm sold out. Yes. God, I'm yes. all in. Come on. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, somebody. He hallelujah. said, you suffer for yes. my name's sake. Hallelujah. Come on. Lord, I, I, I'm, hallelujah. Now. I'm too deep now. I'm too yes. far gone. Too far. I'm too oh, far hallelujah. Too, Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> too far. I was just saying that since I was... This, I came too far. Too Ooh. far. Are you serious? I taste too much. I taste too much. Ooh. I'm full. Like, oh, I, there's no way. There's no way. There's no way. You know, he showed himself over and over again. He allowed mm. me to see. He allowed me to see. I love doing the work. I love, I listen, if someone called me and asked me for prayer, yes, we will. I'm not going to say call me back in half an hour. 
call me back in an hour. Or I'll, uh, no, let's pray. I love doing the work for the Lord because he did it. I mean, someone stayed on me. My bishop stayed on me and I thank God for him. And I said, I want to do the same for someone else because the Lord showed me. He allowed me to feel that he loved me. From the times I used to lay in my bed, cry at night. And I used to be like, Lord, you did this for me. For me, you forgave me for my sins. Oh, wow. You know, when I used to think I was by myself, when I used to think I didn't have no one that loved me, when I was going through my pain and didn't know which way to go and to know that he loved me, no, I'm not going to let go. Why? What, what, what for? For what? For the world? You know, I know the Bible, no way in the Bible said you're going to have um, riches and you're going to be famous and this and that in this world and stuff. You're going to go, it tells you you're going to go through your trials and tribulation. I'd rather go through it knowing I got Christ by my side wow. and go through it, going through it in the world, not knowing if I die in my sins, I'm not going to heaven. I you know I'm not going very to powerful. You just said something very powerful. I don't want them to miss something that you said. Praise you said. God. Knowing that I'm gonna go through trials and tribulation, I rather know I rather go through it knowing I have Christ. What yes. you said is whether you have Christ or not, you're gonna go through some trials and tribulation. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. Well, you go sure. come on, you're gonna go through a storm either way. So you might as well go through a storm with Christ. Hey, yes, Lord. Lord. Oh, hallelujah. You might as well yes. go through a storm with the one who can bring you out the fire. Yes. But you might as well go through the fire with the one that ain't going to let you come out smelling yes, like Lord. smoke. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I thank you, Lord. Oh, I thank God. I thank God for today. <laughs> Listen, and this is what you get for being obedient because I don't put just, I can't put anybody on the show. The Lord chose me who to put on there. And I'm like, all right, Lord. All right, Lord. He, and I knew for a fact, I said, Lord, okay, I'm going to be obedient. I'm going to be obedient. And I know today this word alone is, I mean, it's a blessing to me. And I pray that someone have received it. I pray thank that you. someone have received, received an assistant. I thank you for joining me. I thank you. And I pray that you come back. I pray that you come back, come back, you know, <laughs> Cause there's so there's so many people that are out there. There's so many people out there that is that is seeking that is truly seeking the Lord, and they just want to hear the truth. Ooh, they don't want they don't want to be pat on their shoulder. They want to hear the truth. They want to know what is it that I gotta do to be saved. My what God, is it that I gotta do to serve God. What am I gonna go through? You know, we can't tell them it's going to be an easy walk. We can't tell them that. We can't tell them that everything is going to be okay. We can't tell them they can keep living the way that they live in and, right. and make it in. We can't do that. And we do that. We, we're liars. We're a stumbling block. We cannot do that. You know, yes. we're going to serve Christ. We're going to serve him. And we're going to do the work of the Lord. And we're going to do it together as one. Like he wants yes. us to do. No, we ain't no religious. We're not uh -huh. religious. We are believers of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. We are run by the Spirit. Come on. We, everything that we do, we do it in Christ. Yes. We pray before we move, praise God. Since before we close out, is there anything that you want to say to anyone that is watching? Uh, yeah, I just want to let everybody know, um, to God be all the glory. Um, the, 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 the main thing that we want everybody to understand when we say God say come out from among them, He's talking about I'm, I'm, I want to bring you out of that dark place. Yes, Lord. The world that you're in is where God wants you to come out of. Yes, Hallelujah! Lord. And He wants you to come into His kingdom. It's well, clean. what am I trying to say? What I'm saying is, when you come over and when He snatch you out your grave. Because until the spirit of God get in you, you're yes. dead in your trespasses. You're a slave to sin. Yes. But God want to bring life to yes. you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Life. And so what happens is he bring you out of that dark place. And yes. then he breathes life into you. Yes. And he fills you with his, oh, his spirit. And his spirit in you wants to do everything God say do. So yes. you, you got 
something else greater in you, like my sister said, now than he that is in this world. So yes. you need the Holy Spirit. Yes, so Lord. anybody on here right now, you need to call on the name of Jesus and yes. you say, Lord, baptize me. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. In your name. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Yes, I desire yes. your Holy Spirit, God, so yes. I can live the way that you say live. I don't want to be in this dark place anymore. Yes, I don't yes. know how I'm going to do it, but I know oh, God can do it. So, God, I need you. Fill yes, me. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. You're going to need the power of God oh, to hallelujah, in this wicked life. Yes, Lord. His grace is sufficient. He's yes, been patient Lord. with you. He's been faithful to you. Yes. He said, I wish none to perish. Yes. But Lord. we all would repent Jesus. and come to the Lord. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. So this is your day. This is your time right now to say, you know what? I give yes. up. I throw it all away. I lay down all my idols. God, yes. I don't want nobody but you. I don't want Ooh, nobody Lord. but you. I'm the way, Lord. I'm crying. God want to hear your soul cry. Yes, Come on, Lord. somebody. He's yes, listening Lord. for your heart. To... Thank you, Jesus. And your life will never be the same. Yes, your breakthrough is right now for right those now. that want it. Yes, Lord. Lord right now. Oh, your breakthrough. You don't have time to waste. Yes, Lord. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He wants to deliver you and set you free right now. Yes, he said, and they shall know the truth. Jesus and the truth shall make oh, us free. Hallelujah. Thank God you. God want to download truth in you. Yes, Lord. So you can be free, loose yes. from the bonds of wickedness. The yes. devil has to take his hands off you. Glory Jesus. to God. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah, Lord, we thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, sister. Thank you, thank you so much. So much. So many different people. It just, I mean, it, oh, hallelujah. The feeling that I feel right now, you know, the feeling that I feel right now, knowing that there's so many people that are going through some things. There's so many people that are going, they're going through their trials and tribulation right now, and they don't understand why. They don't understand why. Why am I going through this? And the Lord said, don't give up on him. Don't give up on him. Don't give, just hold on. Just hold on. Just hold on. We're here to encourage you to hold on. Just to hold on. And know that, again, I say it over and over again in his word. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. If you want this deliverance, if you want this healing, then receive it. Receive it. Because just as fast as you ask for it, he gives it to you. Receive it and then live it. Knowing that you're delivered. Knowing that you're healed. Knowing that you're set free. Knowing that whatever it is that was attacking you had no choice but to go. Now it's on you to receive it. Pick up your cross and follow Christ. Pick up your cross. Follow Christ. Let go. Let God. Let go. Let God. Praise the Lord. Thank you for tuning in to Living Testimony. Until next time, God is good. Amen.